Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to test a boiler or geyser thermostat. Right, over here I have what is called a quick therm thermostat. It has these two terminals. One is for the live wire and one is for the neutral. So you would connect your live wire there and your neutral wire there. And then what happens is the thermostat is connected directly to the element. So the element goes like that. So the thermostat prong runs in the middle there and this would be embedded in the boiler in the tank so it will be surrounded by the water to get the temperature of the water. That terminal and that terminal connect directly to the element. So this is a resistive element. Right, so looking at the resistance of the element, you can see that it is 13.7 ohms. The thermostat operates as a switch. So what that means is if I put my lead over here on the neutral, and then I put my other lead over here on this terminal, it's a very low resistance there, 0.2 ohms. So if I do a continuity measurement, you can see it's zero and hear the beeps. Continuity measures a short circuit. So that's a short circuit. So we can see that from the neutral terminal to this terminal over here, it's zero ohms. It is a dead short. Now, if I go from this terminal, which is the live terminal, and I go to this lead, it's an open circuit. That means electricity is not gonna flow from the live to this terminal over here, which means that it's currently in an open state. Right, so that means the thermostat has cut off the supply. I'm gonna briefly show how we test that. Right, over here I have the face of the thermostat, there is the neutral, and on this side is the live. And over here I've got the temperature selector. This is in degrees centigrade. So if I move this to there, I've now set the thermostat to 50 degrees. That means that the thermostat must remain in a closed position until the water temperature reaches about 50 degrees. It's not exact because of hysteresis, but that's a whole other video. Now, the thermostat should open circuit at about 50 degrees. When the water temperature gets below 50 degrees, the thermostat should close the circuit. Since it's only opening the live terminal and not the neutral, I'm going to put my first lead here in the live terminal. And I've just converted my other lead to a crocodile clip, so I'm just putting it over there. And the meter is making a noise because the thermostat is in the closed position, which means that it would be allowing current to flow in the element to heat up the boiler. That would mean that current would be flowing through this element the reason why is because it's set to 50 degrees and the room temperature here is only about 22 degrees. If I reduce this below about 20 degrees, my meter stops making that noise and it's telling me it's an open circuit. An open circuit is now telling me that the thermostat is not going to allow current to flow. And the reason why it's not going to allow current to flow is the ambient temperature is already above the thermostat temperature. So it would not need to heat up anything. So let's test that now at a higher temperature. I'm going to set this to 50 degrees. Now I'm going to heat up the thermostat and the thermostat should open. Now you can do this in many different ways. You can use a lighter and just light the tip there. Or you could take some hot water and immerse the probe into the water. And if you want to be really accurate, you can measure the temperature of the water. Right, so I've heated up the water a bit more. As you can see, it's 58 degrees, and now I'm going to put the thermostat inside. Right, the heat will conduct along that path, and the thermostat should open because this is above the temperature that was set for the thermostat. Right, so I've immersed it in the water. It will take some time. And if you listen closely, you might hear the thermostat make a click when it opens. Right, so it's opened the circuit and now it is in the off state, meaning the temperature here heated up this prong to such a degree that the thermostat opened the circuit. So if I remove this from the hot water, the thermostat will close shortly. Right, and that wasn't even a minute. So we can see that the thermostat is operating correctly. And a quick way to do it is to just use a lighter and to just test it. So I heat up the prong, and there the thermostat has opened. Once this cools down, the thermostat will close. Right, so in this case, this thermostat is functioning correctly.